Okay, in this video we're going to look at the solvability of the following exponential congruence. So we have 5 to the x is congruent to a mod 19, so we want to find the values of a that make this solvable. And so we're going to use the theory of primitive roots in this case, and um, I'll just use the following fact, which you can check, and that is 2 is a primitive root mod 19. Good. And another thing to check is that uh, 5 is equal to 2 to the 16 mod 19. Okay, great. So uh, now we're going to change this equation um, into a new one using this uh, equivalence right here. Okay, now we're also going to write the following. We're going to write A e is equivalent to 2 to the Y mod 19. And since 2 is a primitive root mod 19, we know that um, we can write this number A as 2 to the Y. Given the fact that we know that uh, this number A will be relatively prime to 19 because it's a power of 5, and 5 is relatively prime to 19, so that means it can be expressed with this primitive root. Great. So now let's see how this uh, changes the following equivalence. So we have 5 to the x, we can rewrite as 2 to the 16 to the x. And then uh, we can write a as 2 to the y, 2 to the y, and now that's mod 19. So now using exponent rules, that's the same thing as 2 to the 16x is congruent to uh, 2 to the y mod 19. But now uh, we can bring the exponents down, but we won't be working mod 19 anymore. In this case, we'll be working mod 18, which is phi of 19. So we get 16x is congruent to y mod 19, sorry, mod 18. And this is because phi of 19 is 19 minus 1 because 19 is prime, which is 18. Good. And then from the theory of linear congruence, as we know this has a solution, if and only if the GCD of 16 and 18, which equals 2, divides y. Okay, good. So that means this has a solution only when y is even. And so that means we can write y equals 2 to the n, where n is uh, some number that's relatively prime to 18. I'll just put it's a natural number with the GCD. Um, sorry, we don't need that relatively primeness. Good. So that means we have y is of this form. And so now notice we can plug that back into here. So now that we have a is equal to 2 to the 2n, which is the same thing as 4 to the n mod 19, because now we're back working with our bases. So this has a solution if and only if um, <clears throat> we have a can be written as a power of 4 mod 19. So now from here, you could calculate exactly which values of a you have just by letting n vary along the natural numbers until you get repetition, um, but I won't do that. I'll leave this here.